A benefit from this model is that it enables us to grow the research and the evidence base. We all know that research and evidence informs policy, which in turn informs practice. Um, I believe that policy that is not reflective of a Māori worldview, um, when it's meant to impact positively on Māori, is colourless. It's colourblind policy. So we need to make sure that our policy um, is sharp enough to make a positive difference for the people for whom it's intended. Good social outcomes very much depend on the people for whom the outcome is intended actually accepting the process by which they might be able to improve their lives. And if that process is embedded in some way within their own world view and their own way of approaching the world, then I think there's a far greater chance of success because the process of achieving the outcome will be respected by the people who have to achieve that outcome. And I think that the Whanau Ora program, for example, to a certain extent is an example of an effective way of developing social policy interventions that have relevance for outcomes for Māori. The Awa Whiria is just a start uh, to bridging cultural perspectives. Uh, I think that um, the diverse communities in our country are, you know, have their own narratives, their own stories, their own research to tell.